Welcome to Designer Digital's bi-weekly tip, July 19, 2013. This week, how to resize and cut multiple images with the Silhouette software. After you've downloaded your digital cutting files, you'll probably want to arrange several items on one page before you cut the cardstock. This will save you both in terms of time and the cost of the cardstock or the pattern paper you're using. Here's how. If you've added the files to your library, open the Silhouette software and click the Show Library icon on the left. Select the folder that contains your downloaded items. Double click on one of the images that you want to cut. This will open the image on a cutting sheet. You can click on the Show Library icon again and double click another image that you want to cut. Now both images will appear on the same cutting sheet. Click to select one of the images. When it's selected, a bounding box will surround it, and now you can drag the image to a corner of the page. Drag the other image next to the first one. Continue adding and moving images onto your page until it's full. If the image is not in your library, click the open icon on the top left corner. Use the look in box to browse your computer for the downloaded files. And then use the files of type drop down to find the type of file that you're importing. Select the image that you want to add and click OK. This will open the image on its own page. Repeat this process to open all of the images that you want to cut. To move the images onto one page, click on one of the open images and choose Edit, Copy, or hit Ctrl-C on your keyboard or on a Mac system that's Command-C. At the bottom of the screen, click the first tab. Choose Edit, Paste, or Ctrl-V or on a Mac system Command-V on your keyboard. This pastes the copied image onto your open document. Click and drag the image into place. Click another tab to copy and paste another image onto your document and continue until you have filled up the first document. Clicking to select an image on the page gives you a bounding box. The bounding box tells you the dimensions. This one is 3 inches by 4 inches. To resize, all you have to do is click and drag a corner until you reach the size that you want to cut. The new dimensions are displayed in real time as you click and drag. You'll see them change as you're clicking and dragging. To turn an image, click the green handle at the top of your image when you have it selected, and then click and drag until your image is in place. This can help you fit more images on the page. Finish by tracing the images and sending the page to the cutting machine. See our videos on using cutting files for step-by-step -step instructions on how to load cutting files and use SVG images in the software. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back in two weeks for the next Designer Digital's tip.